Exploring the phrase, Sin Number More, A Guide to Understanding. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, Sin No More. This phrase, often found in religious and historical texts, carries deep meanings and nuances. Our goal is to unravel these layers for better understanding and usage in English. So, let's get started. Sin no more is a phrase deeply rooted in religious contexts, specifically in Christianity. It appears in the Bible, where it is often used as a directive or advice after forgiveness or healing has been offered. This section explores its biblical origins and how they influence its meaning. Before we fully grasp sin no more, we need to understand what sin means. In most religious contexts, sin refers to an act that goes against divine law or moral principles. It's important to know that the concept of sin varies across different cultures and religions. The phrase, no more, signifies cessation or stopping of something. When combined with sin, it translates to stopping or avoiding sinful acts. This section will explain how, no more, changes the tone and intent of the phrase. While its roots are religious, sin no more, has found its way into modern language. This section discusses how the phrase is used today, beyond its religious connotations, and in various literary and conversational contexts. Here, we'll provide examples of sin no more in sentences and discuss the contexts where it might be appropriately used. This practical approach will help learners understand how and when to use the phrase. I hope this exploration of sin no more has been enlightening and useful for your English language learning journey. Remember, understanding the historical and cultural background of phrases enriches your grasp of the language. Until next time, happy learning!